literally shot my vagina. Hi guys, Rachel here and I don't even know how to intro this. Basically, I wanted to make a video, couldn't find a cute setting in my room. Then I sat in front of the mirror, kind of hated how I looked for about five minutes, decided I need to put on makeup, and that's what we're going to do. So basically, I'm going to put on makeup, talk to you about some of my feelings from the last few weeks about certain things, and just go from there. Okay, so we're going to first start off with some uh, moisturizer. And while we're talking about moisturizer, we're going to also talk about my current feelings about the general election. And if you don't want to hear about this, I'm not going to say turn off because you should want to hear about it. This video title, uh, well, I don't have the title made, but just I'm assuming I know what I'm going to clickbait with, is to do with like my anger and annoyance at influencers in the Irish bubble for not speaking about the general election. And it's the same influencers that don't talk about anything, they don't talk about climate change, they don't talk about anything that happens in the world and then you can also argue like oh well that's not their place if you have a certain amount of reach you should use that for good and maybe like people are going to judge me for this but i just think in the year 2020 if you're really trying to sell someone i don't know some shitty skincare line or a discount code for boohoo pretty little thing what's your life going to mean in five years probably not if the world is actually ending due to climate change and inactivity with our politicians and politics in general like you just need to be making more of an effort there's one particular person that i follow on instagram and she didn't mention it at all for the past like two weeks that we've known literally no mention of it hasn't mentioned anything today probably won't, won't, won't mention anything at all and i'm just sitting here like what's wrong with people genuinely like someone please help and i think maybe like I have no idea what this looks like. I'm gonna grab a mirror. And I think maybe like that's my issue with like the influencer bubble in general in Ireland. It's just so self-obsessed and only cares about like making money for themselves, which whatever, like fair enough. But what what's that going to mean when there's nothing to sell anymore because the world is literally ending? This do my makeup and not being able to see and looking into the viewfinder is not good okay hi guys sorry i literally had to put that foundation on off camera because i can't see anything like i've wanted to make this video for maybe the last like two three years no maybe not three years but like two years definitely with like my issue with influencers on instagram who don't use their voice for anything other than influencing to sell and it just kind of it shocks me because like okay right fair enough you start off as a blogger you start off recommending products people listen to you that's great you have this everyone just follows you they love you they believe you they trust you and then when you start growing a base it all becomes about like selling something or use my discount code, use this, use that. And it's literally becoming a case of, you're not an influencer for anything else other than selling for a company, like selling shit, basically. Like, I just don't understand the attraction to become an influencer or people being like, oh, I want to be a full-time blogger, full-time influencer, full-time whatever, YouTuber. Like, okay, that's nice. Like, it actually sounds great. Like, I would love to have a job where all I do is like make videos, make content for myself. But then at the end of it, it's like, what's the point? Like, are you just going to sell more things constantly? And I don't even know if I'm getting this across correctly, but like, there's a couple of people I follow on Instagram and I'm constantly sending their stories to other people being like, is this all they do? It's like, here's my discount code for 20% off this, here's my discount code for 30% off this. And then when I watch your stories, every single story from every single day, it's them either selling new product, shopping, talking about an, something new they want, a new bag, a new pair of shoes, anything. Like, it's just consumption. It's like this need for like more all the time. I'm not saying that I'm like this angel that doesn't consume. Like I do, I, I buy makeup, I buy clothes, but in saying that all my clothes are secondhand. And then I go occasionally buy new stuff if I need new underwear or whatever. But you get to a stage when you realize you don't need things. Like there's more to life than a pair of boots. I can't even imagine when the cap is gonna happen, when like this need for more is gonna eventually stop with people. And it's just, obviously it's not the influencer's fault. Like this is just the kind of the bubble or the life that they've fallen into. But it's a bigger like capitalist, materialistic society that we're living in that's essentially ruining the planet. Because this need for more constantly is what's creating excess, creating pollution, complete, com like creating everything that's wrong right now all base all goes back to like this need for more 
it's not a need, it's a want for more. It's like you think you want this thing or you need this thing and you actually don't. The last few days I have been speaking about the election on my story and I'm not again saying I'm this like holy person, but like Keelan has been talking about it, Fanula, a couple of my friends, Grace, Orna, like there's so many people that I know in my bubble and my circle that are talking about it because we realize that these issues are gonna impact us all. It's not big, you can't, say politics doesn't impact me. If you do, you're probably white and you're probably privileged that you don't think these policies are gonna impact you directly. I think the rent prices have gone up like 30 to 40% in the last like five years when the minimum wage has gone up by maybe like max two something. Like it's not equal, like you can't argue like, oh, we have the highest, we have the second highest minimum wage in Europe. It's like, yeah, but we also have a super high uh, standard of living and people always try and compare us to Sweden and be like oh well Sweden's super expensive but they also have super high wages it doesn't like they try to argue that Sweden's more expensive rent prices are more expensive in Ireland than they are in Sweden grocery prices are more expensive in Ireland than they are in Sweden and as well the Swedish uh, public services are so good whereas in Ireland they're just not public transport what is that Donegal can't get to it by train there's just so many issues and I feel like if you sit on Instagram and try and sell people a boohoo line right now you are an idiot and this isn't even a video about fast fashion or sustainability or anything like that but I do have to say if you are watching an influencer who is still using affiliate links for fast fashion brands in the year 2020 just reevaluate them I'm getting my eyebrows done tomorrow for like the first time I'm getting them treaded and tinted and my friend Kathleen is doing them so I'm excited I've been growing them out since like before Christmas so they look a bit ratchet right now but I'm just hoping she can do magic with them because my eyebrows are literally horrific but while I have you here watching this video I think we should discuss the general election which is coming up very soon it's coming up in February I think it's the 8th of February it's a Saturday and I haven't done all my research yet so I will make another video closer to that date but what I want to tell you guys now is because influencers aren't really talking about it and because they just don't feel it a need and it's not their place which you could argue it's up to you it's a personal decision etc etc which I do agree like you should do your own research um, I just want to like kind of let you guys know a few things on my opinion so a lot of people when they do talk about politics always tend to, to like take back the step of well I'm not going to tell you who to vote for I'm going to tell you who I'm going to vote for because in my constituency there's not that many there's not many options at all so in my area there's literally three people I want in and they are a Sinn Féin candidate a Labour candidate and a people before profit profit solidarity candidate and then everyone else on my ballot paper are going to be Fianna Gael and Fianna Fáil. I am not voting for a single one of those people and there's a couple of independents but they're all dodgy pro-life independents and I'm wearing my repeal jumper this just happened I wear it around the house so yeah that's where I stand that's who I'll be voting for and again I'll make a video closer to the time but you should start doing your research now I'll leave a lot of links down below to find out some information I just look up the policies and make a decision before you go in there but yeah try to stay as left-leaning as possible because we don't like conservatives okay i'm gonna get hate for this video i don't care so yeah thank you for watching i'm gonna put on a lipstick now yeah. wow that looks so put together i'm so done up so yeah keep an eye out for that video and if i have any more updates i'll let you guys know in 2020, I know I probably said this every year and you're probably all sick of me, I really want to make more videos and a long time I was like afraid to make videos if there weren't like amazing content, which like is fair quality over quantity. But I think now going forward, I just want to put something together and throw it up because I've, I have so many videos from the last while that I would have loved to have put up with my friends and stuff, which I didn't. So yeah, expect more videos from what? And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I have a little Depop actually now. I'll link that in my bio if you want to buy something off my Depop. And yeah, stay woke, be kind to yourself always, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. You made it to the end of the video, and I got my eyebrows did. That's what they look like. They're a bit dark, but they'll calm down. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, I meant to subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to me please and yeah give this a thumbs up send it to your friends tell them to actually pay attention to what's going on in the world <laughs>